I just found a brand new AI tool that makes AI mind maps in seconds with just one click. It lets you turn YouTube videos into mind maps, PDFs into mind maps, and almost anything that you want into a mind map so that you can more clearly understand and see things. Because if you've been looking for an AI tool that helps you summarize, understand, or extract key points from any type of content, this is the tool for you. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what that tool is, how to use it, and I'm gonna share with you five crazy use cases you can use this tool for. Now, that brand new AI tool that I'm talking about is Mapify because Mapify allows you to turn pretty much anything into a mind map. We could see on the left-hand side here, you could use this with PDFs, YouTube videos, long text, web pages. You could even do this with things like podcasts, social media posts, blog posts, audio files, and more even something like an image. So if we come over here and let's say that we click on podcasts right here, we could click on this Michael Rubin podcast right here. And this immediately goes through and creates a mind map with everything that was said in the podcast. And the best part about this is we could come through, we could change the structure of this, we could change the color of this, we could change what this actually looks like, we could zoom in, we could zoom out, and there's a chat with AI interface right now. We could get this to do things like generate an image for this mind map. We could ask it questions about the podcast, and this is a brand new way to be able to learn and to be able to interact with any type of information. In addition to that, if we click on format up here, this will opens this up a little bit better, you'll see that we could actually come through and we could change what this looks like. We could do a mind map, a logic chart, a tree chart, timeline, fishbone, a grid. We could change the colors if we wanted to and so much more. We could also get this to auto collapse or we could turn this off if we wanted to. And if we come up over here into present mode, this actually shows what this really looks like. And we could kind of slide through this in order to actually build out each of these things and go through this podcast step by step. And if we were doing this with a YouTube video, we would be able to do the same exact thing. Now, I know what you're thinking. Rob, can something like Notebook LM also do this? So I actually wanted to compare the two of them side by side in order to see which one actually creates a better mind map. So Alex Hormozzi just came out with his brand new book. So I actually wanted to do that with this. So if we come over here, I am going to come over here and I am going to copy the link for this YouTube video right here. This is basically a podcast where Alex Hormozzi breaks down the things that you'll learn in his new book. And if we come over into Notebook LM, you'll be able to see that we can create a mind map with this. So I'm gonna click on this right here. I'm gonna click on YouTube. We will actually be able to paste this in right here and we will be able to insert this in here. And this is going to go through now. This is going to upload this in here. We're gonna click on mind map. We're also going to come over here we're gonna click on YouTube and we're gonna create a new mind map here. So all we have to do is paste the video link. You'll be able to see that we can also change the model here. We could choose between instant, which makes the mind map instantly or powerful, which goes through and creates a higher quality and a higher creativity mind map. In addition to that, we could change the complexity right here to be concise, medium, or detailed. I'm gonna leave this at detailed right here. And we could turn on or off the automatic suggest icon. In addition to that, if we want to add in custom instructions, we could add that in here and we could toggle timestamps on or off. So I'm going to click on this and we could actually watch this go through. Now, a few things that I did want to show off here. If we come over into a new notebook LM window, I wanted to show off the difference between the two of these. As you can see right here, you can only add five types of sources here. Google Doc, Google Slide, website, YouTube video, copy text. So Mapify has way more things that we can actually add in here. In addition to that, when we click to actually create a mind map on Notebook LM here, you'll see that there's not much customization. We can't change what this looks like. We can't change how this actually break things out. We could just tell it whether or not it's good or bad content. And if we wanted to, we could come over here, we could download this just as one type of file right here. And what this is going to allow us to do is create a mind map, but this isn't really all that detailed. And I don't actually know how to use this for myself. And this isn't really that helpful. But if we come back over into Mapify, we could see, look at the mind map that this created. This is way more comprehensive. We could change what the structure is. We could add in other things if we wanted to right here, or we could import all of this at one time. And if we like the way that this looks, we could come over here and we can now chat with this. We could view the original transcript. And if we wanted to click on share right here, we could change how this is actually exported. We could export this as an image, as a PDF, 
as a SVG, Markdown, Xmine file, or we'll be able to actually print this right here. So let's come over here and let's chat with AI and say, generate an image for this. And then this is gonna go through, and this is actually going to generate the image, and you'll see that this actually created right here a pretty cool prompt. This is going through, this is generating the image. And again, if we come over here and we do the backslash, which I'm gonna show you in just a second, there are a few other actions we could take here. Now, as we could see here, this actually went through and this created this. In addition to that, this pulled up a bunch of other things that we could actually have this do. For example, we could have this generate more ideas. We could have this search the web for other strategies. We could have this generate another image. We could have this explain to us what the key components are and so much more. And again, if we come into the settings right here, we could turn on chat with content right here and we could turn on web access so that we'll now be able to chat with this and pull in other information from outside of the web. And if we come over here, you can see that you could clear the chat, you can make it bigger or you could move it around. And if we come over here and do backslash, you'll be able to see that there are a bunch of other things that are actually toggled right here once you do that. Now, a few things I do wanna emphasize. This is amazing for lifelong learners. This is amazing for students. If you're trying to learn anything, you're trying to better explain anything. For example, maybe you wanna create this and put it in your content, or maybe I might use this in my school community. This is a no brainer to use a tool like this. In addition to that, you could use this tool wherever you want. You could use it on the go, you could use it at work, you could use it at home. They even have a Chrome extension and an app. Now, if we come over here, you're also going to see that you could add in tags right here. So if you're doing things maybe for science class, you could come over here, put in science, and then add this tag to specific mind maps so that you know which ones are actually for science class versus English or something else. And in order to find that mobile app, you literally just have to come over to your phone, type in Mapify, and you're gonna see it show up right here. And if you wanna get the Chrome extension, top right-hand corner, click on install right here, and this will bring you to exactly where you can download this Chrome extension. Now, before I get into all those crazy use cases, I wanted to remind you that you could try Mapify for yourself at the pinned comment below. This tool has made it so much easier for me to be able to digest a lot of complex information, and it made it easier to understand for myself, my team, and my students, and I think you're gonna love it too. As a bonus, if you use code MAPIFYROB, you'll get 10% off when you sign up. Now the first use case I wanted to show off here is coming in to ask anything and you'll see that you could type in your question or a topic and this will actually do research and then create a mind map. So we could have this generate the mind map all at once, step by step. Again, we could choose between instant and powerful. We could change the language. We could come over here and change this. For example, for this, I'm just gonna have it be medium. If there was a certain template that we wanted to use, we could actually break it out here between brainstorming ideas or outlining structures or planning out a project or explaining concepts. So I'm gonna click on explain concepts right here. I'm then going to click on this right here and I'm gonna say, I wanna dive more into the top crypto currencies because this is something that I personally wanna learn more about. So I'm gonna come over here type in the top cryptocurrencies, and this is going to go through, and this is going to do all of the research, outline all the trends, outline all the different principles, outline which ones are leading, and all of that. And as we can see, literally in seconds, this went through and created this for me. In the past, I would have had to go and do Google searches. Maybe I would have asked ChatGPT, but this would have led me down a rabbit hole that wasn't visual and wasn't really easy for me to understand. I find this way easier to actually understand than I can go through what each types of tokens are or the best principles here, or even which ones are the leaders, and then I can actually break out into all these different details. And again, if I wanted to, I could edit this, or I could share this with my community. Talking about my community, in use case number two, I wanted to show off how I actually use this for something like that. So if we come over here and I open up something else over here, I am going to come into PDF right here because I wanna create a new mind map. Now, what I wanna create a mind map of is this Voice Agents 101 document. So basically, I created this for my community, but as we can see, this is very text heavy. It basically goes through everything that you need to know about voice agents and all of the different types of voice agents, which ones you should pay for, and all stuff like that. So I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna drop this in here, and this is going to go ahead and this is going to create me a mind map for this that I can then share with my community. Again, because I want this to be more visual. I don't just want to drop a bunch of text on them. Some of them 
also like visual things. So I'm constantly creating mind maps like this in order for me to be able to share this with my community. And you can see that Mapify makes this incredibly easy. In fact, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna make this a tree chart like this. And then we're gonna go through and I'm gonna update this. And I'm gonna make it look like this because I think that this is the cleanest. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say, what are those critical factors? And then this is going to go through. And as you can see, this can actually explain this. But in addition to that, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna click on format and maybe I'm gonna customize this a little bit more. We're gonna come into colors and I'm gonna choose this because I actually think that this is the best color right here. And then if I wanted to share this or present this, we could click on present right here and actually walk through this, see what this looks like so I could see that all these different things are great. I'm gonna come over to export. I'm gonna export this probably as a PDF, upload this to my school community and they're gonna love this. The third use case I wanted to show off is something that I actually spoke about a little bit earlier, which is using this to actually break down YouTube videos. For example, if we come over to my other channel right here, I just uploaded this video about how to go viral on TikTok every time you post in 2025. Again, we're gonna grab this over here. We're going to open up a new window on Mapify and I wanna show you why I really like this for YouTube videos. If we come over here, I'm gonna paste the link in here and have this go through and create this with timestamps. Now, the reason I want timestamps for this is because we're not going to use this as a mind map, but instead we're going to look at this as a timeline. And what this allows me to do is very easily consume YouTube content. So instead of having to sit here and watch, I believe this video is 12 or 13 minutes long, we could just come over here, upload it into here, or better yet, upload a bunch of videos in here. We're gonna come over here and we are going to come over and we are going to actually change this. So I'm gonna open up this chat again right here. Sorry, I'm gonna come over here to format. I'm gonna change this. Instead of being a mind map, I'm gonna make this a timeline right here. And then what this is going to do is create a timeline of my video. So we're gonna change this over here. We're going to scroll out on that. I'm gonna X out on this. We'll be able to see the thumbnail right here. We could see exactly what we're gonna learn in the video. We could see change one, change two, change three, change four, change five, and then the mentorship pitch that I have at the end. But we could actually go through each of these, see timestamps, and if we wanted to, get brought to that or just be able to hone in on things that I need to understand or I need to know better when watching this video, instead of having to waste my time watching the whole thing, I could just look at this, zoom in on what I actually care about, get out and get my valuable time back. Use case number four that I really love this for is going to be if you're a student and you're trying to study and you're trying to learn something. For example, let's say that we come over here, we can click over here and we can now upload a bunch of stuff. Maybe we got YouTube videos in our lecture. Maybe we got text in our lecture. Maybe we got PDFs or even some slides and sheets. We can now upload all of that in here. We could break it out into a mind map and it makes it way easier for us to be able to study, for us to be able to study visually. And maybe even we have this breakout across the entire semester if we were studying for finals or something like that. The final use case that I really love this for is going to be using this for books. For example, if we come over into ebook right here, I love this Steve Jobs book right here, or we could see other examples that they have here. This is another one that I love, The Power of Habit. In fact, I think every single one of you watching this right now needs to read this book, or better yet, click on it on Mapify, and this will go through and build you out a mind map of everything you need to know about this book right here. I would strongly suggest that you do this because this is an absolute game changer book. And again, maybe this doesn't replace you reading the book if you still wanna read it, but this is supportive and actually reinforces everything that you would have learned. Or maybe it was everything that you learned from a blog post or a social media post or a bunch of these different things. You can now take them, turn them all into mind maps so you could share with other people. You can reinforce the learning for yourself or just have a visual way to view all these. Now, if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through seven ChatGPT use cases you're not gonna believe. I'll see you over there.